Yo, 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 what's the deal, YouTube? Happy holidays to everybody. Happy New Year to everybody. It's your boy, Sadlack, coming through with another quick video. Today, I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make some gumbo while we sitting right up in here in the hood, you feel me? So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> so make sure you guys like, comment if you're new. Hit that subscribe button for your boy. We about to get crazy this year. Let's get right into it. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get a pot and put that good old gumbo seasoning in that thing i put two packs of this louisiana cajun gumbo base seasoning in that piece it's gonna make your gumbo juicy as hell you feel me two packs of that up in there it's just chilling right now but right now right now we chop the chicken up this chicken right here is antibiotic free we not messing around out here yo this chicken right here is from one of the healthiest cows quacking on the motherfucking field you feel me so we got the chicken chopped down to the maximum and we about to use some of these fire ingredients to spice it all up so let's get right into this thing first we got zatarans pure ground gumbo fill next we got the good old garlic powder my favorite black pepper seasoning salt i should have put this first but i fucked up it's all good i'm gonna even throw some cayenne pepper on this joint what you want to do is just mix it all up real briefly you feel me make sure that seasoning is touching every little piece of chicken out there you feel me because we want this chicken to be tasty on demand i'm not trying to go back up in the cabinet and get more seasonings after this shit is already cooked this shit got to be cooked to the max so we're just going to twirl it around a little bit with our clean hands. Make sure y'all clean y'all hands before y'all do any of this, you feel me? And just make sure all your chicken is well seasoned because you don't want your seasonings in the pot to take from your seasonings on the chicken. You got to make sure this shit is still juicy. That's my point. So yeah, yeah, yeah. After you season your chicken, you want to put it in the pot, bud. And yeah, turn that pot up to 500 degrees. Slap a pot on the top and you're going to be good. Let that thing sit. Then you're going to want to get your shrimp. Put some motherfucking seasonings on them bitches after you pluck the tails off them hoes. And then you're going to want to make sure all the water is out. I have to break that down real quick. They got too good for you real quick. Then you want to get your mild sausage. I use mild. Usually I use hot, but I'm going to go with the mild and see what this hidden for. Toss them up in there. And the shrimp is gonna be right after that looking seasoned in a mother freak. Yeah, looking real good. So we're gonna throw the shrimp right up in there after a few minutes of the sausage boils, you know, you know, you know. And now it's time to get crazy. We're gonna put the shrimp in there. Whoa. I don't know what the hell I'm doing, man. I got the wrong rice. I got my, my Uncle Benny's rice again. Today he in a bag with it. So we're gonna make sure this water get real hot. And we're gonna drop them bags in there just like that. We got the white rice and we got the wheat rice. So let's get right to it. I ain't never made this rice before, but we're gonna test the waters and see what's happening. I forgot to tell y'all, I put the crab up in there already. But the rice is getting ready to be done. Pretty much gotta split them bags open and put some butter in these things so the rice could be all nice and lit. And then, yeah, shrimp, sausage, all that shit, licks, sticks, all that shit. Motherfucking, um, put a couple grenades in there. I couldn't do too much in this video, man. I just want to eat. So this is the rice bust down. We got the white rice, you feel me, for the Puerto Ricans. And then we got the, the black rice for the Blacksicans. This right here gonna be probably your more healthier decision. The gumbo look like it's busting, man. I ain't do a whole lot, but the motherfucker is seasoned to the maximum capacity. It's a whole lot of flavors in that bitch. I'm probably gonna make my play right now. And shish, god damn it, man. It was so much going on. I couldn't even really show y'all me making my bowl because it was just too much going on. But ski poppity. This right here is it. Yo, this is what it's gonna look like at the end. We got the brown rice popping, as you can see. The brad leg sticking out on the side. If I had to say, the shrimp is extremely, extremely tender, as well as the sausage. There's chicken in there, too. Bonus. All I'm gonna say is, man. This is how you make it in the hood, baby. You ain't got too many tools. You ain't got too much meat. You ain't got too much of anything when you're in the hood. You know how it is. So my bowl might look a little skimpy, but this motherfucker gonna hit. Fire, fire, fire. 
that's how we're gonna cut that off right there, man. That's how we make that gumbo in the hood, man. As you can see, I had to put my silk rag on for this one. I had to get down and dirty. Man, it was getting filthy in this motherfucking kitchen, man. Hey, man, say, man. If you guys made it to the end of this video, make sure you guys rate, comment. If you're new, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We are nowhere to 200 subscribers. Let's get it. And I'm out of here. Shee.